So, all right, hey guys, welcome to my channel. And today we're gonna be reviewing the 2013 Infinity G37. So today we're basically just gonna be going over whether is it worth it 10 years after and just the specs and overall performance of the vehicle over the 10 years. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, so let's take a look under the hood. As you see, it does stood up by itself. And here you go, the 3.7 liter. BQ V6 in all its glory. As you can see, everything stock, stock intake, stock everything. Got the cover still on. Yeah, guys, not really too much to look at. This is going to get changed soon. Yeah, I'm thinking about modding this thing, trying to get full bolt ons, but we'll see. I know the first thing I might start with is the intake. And yeah, guys. That's pretty much the car under the hood. Let's close this thing now. And all right. All right, so focusing on the outside of the car, you can see this. I think they're 19 inch rims. They're pretty nice. I actually got them there after market rims. They're by Milani. You can go around. The car does have a little bit of damage to it. But as you can see, it is the sport trim just going around and then i do feel like for the looks it is up to par with most newer cars if not like last five to ten years doesn't make it look, seem like it's ten years old but it is let's just check out the interior So once we come in here, see this nice, pretty nice leather. You know, car's a little dirty. Let me clean up. Pretty nice leather interior, sunroof. I accidentally left the sunroof open last night. Hopefully, there's nothing in here. Um, the interior is not too bad on this car either. Not to mention, I got to use so it's it's pretty good for what it is. Little little things that can be better, but still holding up for being 10 years old um you know it comes with the paddle shifters which are pretty nice and let's just move on to the back seat so in my opinion i'm not too tall but still i feel like the back seats are very cramped i'm only about like five seven and the back seats i have like no leg room whatsoever headroom i probably have uh, I'd probably say like five inches of headroom, two in five to two inches of headroom, but it's pretty cramped back here. There's nice leather, leather's still intact, in good condition. Um, that's pretty much for the inside. There's not really too much about it, not really too many things other than the infotainment system. You do get rear AC. Mm, yeah, there isn't really too much. You got this armrest. I've never even opened this before. This is my first time really being back here. Since I got the car, I actually got the car in October. So it's still a pretty, fairly new car for me. But let's just get into the engine starting it up. Alright, in my honest opinion, the exhaust does sound pretty good for stock. It's pretty loud for a stock engine. Yeah, I need to get one of these clips right here. I don't know why the car didn't come with one. And then the temporary plate fell off, left that there. But the car sounds pretty good. Okay, so now that we got the car started though, we can take it on a little ride. I might think we just go to the grocery store to pick up a prescription. But yeah, as you can see, I got this car used. It's 108 on the clock. And it's it's a pretty nice car. Runs pretty smoothly for being how old it is. And yeah, let's just get this thing going. Uh, yeah. So I know the direction of this channel 
I'm just getting started with like YouTube and stuff like that, but I do want to continue with it and at least like start to make videos, upgrading my car and getting all the performance mods and maybe even like races, but we'll see about that. As for now, I'm just gonna probably just sit on this review for a little bit and then just start getting um, mods and stuff and maintaining the car, but yeah, it's a fairly fast car. Like it's in reg uh, regular drive mode right now. I can change it to sport. Let's just see the difference. Do a 40 roll. notice with the car is like sometimes it's responsive sometimes it's not like I can slow down for a little bit go back to probably 40 and then now it's a little more responsive yeah it's, it's fairly fast 328 horsepower around 290 pound feet of torque it's not a bad deal I'm gonna try to do my best doing this on one hand. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, just wait for this light to turn green. But yeah, when I tell you guys this car does have a good amount of power, especially for how old it is, it's 3.7 liters. It does not come to play. Long, for no reason. Okay. So these guys. All right. Let's see how fast this gets up. store real fast run my little errands and I'll be right back all right so right now I'm just currently at the store waiting for my prescription to get done so we just go into a further in-depth review of like the infotainment system and if any of the um, scenery looks familiar it's just because I'm in Phoenix I know I see a lot of um, other G37s around this area in Phoenix which is pretty much any any other like tuner cars so if any of you guys are viewing this and want to race, just let me know. I might link my socials or something like that down in the um, description. Or you guys can say anything in the comments. I'd always be down too. I got a heavy foot. I like speeding. So just let me know. But yeah, so on to the infotainment system. You can see I'm listening to Bluetooth right now. It does come with Bluetooth. Listen to some Draco. Um, you know, it also has this little map feature which isn't too bad i feel like nobody would ever really use this but still pretty interesting you know this car is 10 years old it's, funnily enough this car came out when i was in fifth grade which is a really long time ago um so yeah you can see my fuel economy which actually isn't too bad 21.4 i swear i checked this like two weeks ago and it was at like 13 i was I don't know what I was on, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can check on here that's fairly advanced. I've never seen this, and or even in my previous car. Um, you know the AC. Oh, I was in the focus. Destinations. Um, I don't really know if this zooms in. No, it does probably for the map. Route. You can always go back to destinations. Probably the same thing. Phone. Go to info. You can check your fuel economy. What I do like about this car is the maintenance feature. So a couple of days ago, it did tell me I needed an oil change. And then I got an oil change yesterday. So I feel like that is really handy. Just in case if you're not up to date with the type of uh, maintenance you should be doing with your vehicle. It does give me traffic updates sometimes. It definitely gives me weather updates, which uh, it's very different. I think my previous car was a uh, Sam Mirror 2013 Altima. And it didn't give any of these things, even though, you know, it's the same company. Um, 
there were some things Ultima did have better. Like I know the, um, this, the little air conditioning unit was digital, not just the knobs, it was digital, it showed you 68, whatever. What I do like on here is it'll tell you on here on the screen, which is pretty nice. Um, and then, so that's pretty much it. You can check the settings too. Like I said, you got a navigation, your audio, you can change the audio, the bass. Um, hook up your phone, hook up your Bluetooth, other, I guess there's voice recognition on here too. Um, I never use that though. Display, you can try to, uh, change the menu color and all that stuff, which I find pretty nice for this car. And then the volume of the beeps when you scroll, which is pretty cool. And it's also a little bit touchscreen too. You can just do that, which I find pretty nice. Other things this car comes with, it comes with a little Bose uh, system. I don't know where it says Bose at, but it comes with it. Infinity etched into the seats. I don't know if I went over that yet. Like I said, sunroof that I left open. It's pretty nice. Glasses. Yeah, I'm just overall trying to pass the time while I'm waiting. But there is, really isn't too much to go over. There's also a DVD right here. You can insert DVDs, but it's not like people do that anymore. It's 2023, like, come on. But one thing that is interesting is you can put a movie in there. I know my dad tested it. He gave me this movie. You put in there and then yeah you can watch a movie on this little screen if you want to in which i'm not trying to watch today the movie was it's kind of like a weird movie so i'm not watching that yeah it also comes with a little infinity clock which i find pretty nice and sleek um uh, just change this and then yeah i had to probably go back in yeah, the glove box is really small i'm not gonna lie barely fit anything in there That's pretty much it. About to just go back inside. Oh yeah, there it is. I didn't even notice it. The bow is right there. The car's a little dirty. Don't mind it. My phone's in focus. The bow system, I feel like it's one of the best systems you can have in your car. The bass is very good on music. And I had it on my Altima. Bass was very, very, very good. It's honestly a good system to have in any car if you don't have an aftermarket uh, system. But yeah. One thing I also forgot to mention that this car has, it also has heated seats. And I feel like the car is too old for like ventilated cooled seats, but the heated seats are still a nice addition. Um, also with the seats right here, if you guys can see, it has a little uh, memory seats, you know, resets to whatever you want to set it at. And that's what I also like about this car is as soon as you go in, the seats move up and adjust instantly to where you were, um, where it was last placed at is really nice and it's like a really good luxury feature it also has this little thing right here yeah, my air right here but this little thing that extends out so leg rest which i don't really use um but it's not too bad it's still nice still a nice car overall all around and then yeah i'm gonna get back to the drive when i'm done with my getting my prescription all right guys just got back let me just start this bad boy up again Much quieter from inside the cabin. All right. Yeah, don't even. Don't worry about that. Got a handicap sticker. I don't want to hear anybody in the comments. But yeah, it does have a backup camera. And all right, guys. So here we are, back in the G. Just leaving the store, leaving fries. Um, heading home now. But yeah, guys. Overall, I feel like the next video I'm gonna make might not be until like a week or two. Just when I feel like um, when I'm gonna get my next mod, it's probably gonna be a muffler delete. I'm let you guys know how that's gonna sound once I get it. Yeah, have a little short drive back to my house, right down the street from this fries.
that's the 2013 Infiniti G37S to be exact. It's the sport model. So what I do want to say is, is it worth it 10 years after 2023? Pretty much I'd say anything is worth it. Just as long as you really want it for this car. I really wanted this car. I wanted it for so long. I probably wanted it since 2020 actually. And you know, I saved up a lot of money. I actually have a car note on it though. Saved up, put a down payment on it, got the car note. And here I am with the car and I honestly love it. So I feel like if you're honestly looking into getting one of these, I would go for it. I would go for something more than just a journey. I'd get a Sport or an X, even the XS if you have the money. But overall, I feel like the car is worth it. It definitely is up to par with the speed, with cars, with sportier cars, even up to 2023. And I honestly feel like it is a pretty much, it's a pretty good car, pretty reliable car to get as long as you keep it maintained. I just look into the maintenance records of the car if you honestly think about getting one. But overall, I'd say it's worth it in 2023. Thank you.